going. Whoa. Mate, that's nice. Oh yeah. All right, bit of a sleep in this morning. Had my alarm set early, but um, I kind of expected that I'd feel like crap. This is fourth day going hard at it. Like, that's my finger. This knuckle here is all swollen too. That's from when I fell over when I caught that big snapper. My legs are sore and they're just covered in like, I've got a big bruise here, big bruise here, and they're just a bruise there. And my shoulders are sore from hiking and my back. But, bit of a recovery sleep in, and um, man, it just looks so good down there. It's so calm. Going to hike back, get the rest of my rods and a bit of burly probably, and we'll get stuck into it and we'll go find a ledge and go fishing. So they make a break for a pretty quick look at them going. Look at that bow wave, they got some speed, eh? All these guys chilling up here watching what's going on. There we go. Another hot day today. Oh, someone, I want some water. I'll start putting all my empty bottles in here. Scale of this here and put it back. All right, heading back down for my gear. I'm still slightly undecided where I want to fish. There's just so many good options, it's hard to choose. <sighs> really hard to choose. Oh man. The wind's meant to go west in a little while, and the swell is like the lowest that I'll probably get for a long, long time. It's ridiculous right now. No wind, no swell. It will pick up. The wind will pick up and with that, we'll probably bring swell. Oh, where to fish. Originally, I was going to go over there where the seals are, but um, this looks really good just here. I might just try down here. Just got to figure out how to get down there. Yeah, that ledge right there. I bet nobody would fish in here ever, like no boats would tuck in because it's so calm today that um, the opportunity to bring a boat in would be one in a, one in a year. I was going to say one in a million, but maybe not that bad. Unless you really like to get thrown around in the slop. I'm sweating so bad. It's um it's pretty warm out there, no breeze. Alright, so ready to go. Got the medium outfit, 50 pound Tasline. I said that drag. Specialist long cast. And got the heavy outfit ready to go. The leader was a bit short, so I slap that on and put that on. We'll just leave that like that until we need it. And uh, if something big shows up, that's what we'll go for and we'll put on whatever's required to catch what we want to catch. Give it a bit of a slap. All right, let's see if there's anything in the water. That's hungry. I got him on the red tank, raid 120 I think it is, red tank raid, 
Ich bin fast ein Stück weit. There we go. Beautiful looking fish. They seem to want the faster retrieve, it seems. That's what it was before anyway. All right, nothing that time. Either that or I just happened to whiz it past two kingies that time, but not the other time. We'll fill of that kingfish soon and um oh yep yep here we go what have we got probably another kingy oh. oh i don't want him to go down there oh could be a big one or a what the hell? Oh, that doesn't feel good. He's really running me on the rocks there. How big is it? I have no idea. Swim out, mate. Oh, this is not gonna end well, I don't think. I don't know what he's run me under. It really has buried me. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He buried me. He must be a full cave under there. He's just gone right under it. Damn it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh. Dude, they go hard. And they fight so dirty. All right. All right. We'll just get this guy back quickly. If he will stop thrashing for a split second for me. So green. Whoa. Couldn't even hold him. He just... Alright, try that again. We'll take one up to the camera if I get a decent sized one. That one was a rat. Alright, I'm gonna work the bottom once. I don't know what that is. It doesn't feel like much. A lump of weed. <laughs> Break sea cod. Barely fought. That just goes to show how hungry 
these guys are. All right, I'm just going to fill it this guy and um, then we can put his head and his frame in the uh, in the water on the burly line which I think will help just trying to find a good bit of flat rock which doesn't really exist around here That's that. I could like take more off, but I need some burley, so we're gonna put it in. All right, we've got some bait ready, and we'll chuck it out there. We'll see. I can catch anything out there. It might go down, give me a slightly better angle to pull my line in from, probably. Hopefully not hook up halfway down. I left my bait up there. And the seagulls are straight into it. Where is it? Or did I just lose my bait just like that? Crap! Bloody seagulls! Oh, what do we got? Oh, that's a groper following my bait in. All right, so we've got two groper there now. So let's, let's catch one. Here we go. Half a crab. Now I can't see anything because of that whitewash but anyway let's um get rid of the slippery stuff had two groper follow my bait in then go on We'll let him wear himself out a bit in the water first because uh, otherwise you bring him up too green Look at that You bring him up oh, too green and they just hurt themselves on the rocks I don't ever know how well hooked he is If I lose him, I lose him I guess We'll back that track a bit now Definitely is a heavy fish. Got him. There we go. 
Solid groper. How's the head on him, eh? Uh, we'll release this guy. I'll just lay him back in the water, chuck the GoPro back on my head, and we'll uh, chuck him back in. Do some fish. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna prep a little bit of uh, sashimi. Actually amazing. So good. Except for the mozzies are biting me. Ugh. Spicy wasabi. Oh, how's the view? Beautiful. I missed the camera. All right, I'm gonna chill for a while, eat some more of this, and then um, chuck a line in again, or we will move if the winds come up and we'll go somewhere for the afternoon. All right, wind still does not seem to be in yet. I'm really surprised. I thought it should be quite strong by now, but that's all right. We'll, um, Got two baits, chuck that in, it's a bit of burly. It's just got annihilated just then by all those fish down there. All right, and I just had to take my finger back up. Come on. Yeah, I got a fish. Breaks he caught, I think. Probably what's been carrying on out there the whole time. Decent size one too. Pretty good one. It's all right. Been getting heaps of reasonable bites out of the back, but I just haven't um, jagged any of them yet because I've been waiting for something bigger, but that might be it. Go. Oh, it's a hard life, but someone's got to do it, you know. Fishing in paradise. It's my sort of paradise, maybe not everyone's paradise. I love it. Come on, fish. Big fish, big fish. Come on. 10 kega. PB Jewfish. One metre. Bring it on. I've got room in the esky for you. Come on. Yeah, I got something. Something was sitting on it. Could be a big harlequin or something. Could be a jewfish. <clears throat> what the hell's that? Harley, yeah. Yes. I love catching these things. They are delicious. 
love the coral trout, the South Harlequin fish. Um, not a monster, they are a serious predator. As you can imagine down there. And they are delicious. I think I already said that. Really happy with that fish. Always happy to catch one of these. Alright, done here for now. It's probably just after lunchtime. Good little session. Would have been nice to get a few more kingies, but well, I landed two, kept one, got smoked by another, um, or bricked by another, whatever you want to call it. And got a groper, got a bracy cod, got a harlequin fish, got another bracy cod I released. Not bad, really. Did all right. Uh, so we'll pack down here, head back to camp, leave a bit of gear there, and then I'm going to continue on to where the esky and that is. Uh, we'll fill up the fish there and get them all cooled down on ice there. And then I might spend the evening down there or the afternoon down there fishing, see if we can get another kingy or see if any tuna come through or something like that. Really want a tuna. I'd love a tuna. But we'll just keep trying. We'll see what happens. All right, we filleted the fish and pull that and we're going to head over and go for a fish now. Some little pups looking terrified of me. I'll go up and over. First thing I'm going to do is I'll get some burly in the water and then I'll need to redo an FG and um and then we'll start casting i've already got herring in here so we'll see if uh there's any kingies hanging around or not I nearly cast my band-aid off i'll definitely be sending out a live herring very shortly i think very soon All right, let's catch a few herring. That's not sitting right. I don't want to hook a kingy on this because I think I'll just bend my hooks out. All right, there we go, they're hitting it. Come on. Got one. Catch a couple. Got another. Good odds at the moment. We might see if we can get some water in this bucket quickly. Not bucket, but cooler bag. So the live bait rig I'm using now is just a sinker sliding float. The float will slide up. We'll grab out one of these guys. That looks good. Pin him right through the back there. So he'll sit down the bottom. The float will sit up the top. And um, hopefully he gets nailed by a kingy or something halfway decent like that all right i'm packed up now so no big fish just a bit of a bait collecting session really we head up drop the bait in the esky and then head over to camp and i reckon i'm gonna do king kingfish ceviche or yellowtail amberjack or whatever you want to call it you know the fish that i caught earlier um should be good. I didn't really bring everything I need for it, but I've got lemons, so 
That will do. Close enough. Here we go, home sweet home, how good is this, our solar panels are in the shade, so it looks like they've done a fair bit of charging anyway, lay that down there, get that off me, what the heck's that, a oh, band must have dropped from something, cool, how good is this? This is my little kitchen. That's my chopping board, which is just, um, well, I've got some electronics in there, but that'll do for now. Gotta cut them into like little one centimeter cubes, probably. Just gonna squeeze in the fry pan, which I've cleaned. Put it somewhere so you can actually see it. Whole bunch of lemon. And a lot of pips. We'll chuck the fish in there. Now, where did I put it? I had some salt and pepper. I don't think I brought it over yet. We might just get a little bit more lemon in there. Why not? How's this for resourcefulness? The upside down of my um, tomato container. Right there. I know you've already watched me eat this, but I'll tell you what. That's too much wasabi. That's what I'll tell you. so bloody good. I'm just going to start halving a few little cherry tomatoes and chucking them in there. Be nice to have a bit of red onion or something like that but that's alright. I say I don't have much in the way of salad but I have all this crap to throw in so... Toss it around, we'll see how it feels, see how it tastes. Yeah, really good. There's the view outside at the moment. I'm just hiding in the tent. Sorry, I bumped the mic. I'm just hiding in the tent now because the mozzies have come out and um, so yeah I'll settle down in here for the night, get a good night's sleep and I'll get up nice and early tomorrow morning. Uh, it should be a really good day tomorrow, no wind all day pretty much or very light, a little bit more swell and today is day four. First two days were um, just the very first video I put out probably a few weeks ago now where I called the big snapper and then I slept in a swag and then I came out here and it's two days out here so two days so far out here and then we've got all of tomorrow which is the third day and then the fourth day we get picked up in the morning so probably not much will happen then but yeah 
has been a big week and still more to come. Should be awesome. See you guys bright and early. Thanks for watching.